Got a minute? Biological and social time versus developmental time. Do you know what I mean when I say there's a difference between biological time and social time? You mean, uh, do I eat when I'm hungry or because it's lunchtime? That works. I remember when our baby was born. We lived on baby time until Monday morning rolled around and I had to be at work. That switch to social time was hard? Are you kidding? It got me out of so much baby duty. So how about social and biological time versus developmental time? Now you've lost me. Your child will reach adolescence on biological time because their bodies physically morph and on social time when they hit middle school with all the demands to grow up fast. And developmental time? That's a little less clear. That's when your kid arrives developmentally prepared to handle those peer pressures. What do you mean? When your kid knows what she values, can say no to bad ideas, and doesn't have to be told to do her homework. Not many freshmen arrive on campus up to speed in those areas. Yeah, that's the difference between chronological time and developmental time. I think the word is maturity. Fair enough. So kids arrive on campus because they are 18, not because they are developmentally prepared to function as self-motivated, self-directed, self-regulated young adults? It would appear so. So you are saying that we need to nurture self-reliance and self-direction during childhood and not wait for it to just appear spontaneously because they are young adults? I could not have said it any better. So why am I paying you?